Yo, how's it going? It's Con. Welcome to today's video. Thought I'd just make a quick little guide video showing you the usual places I look for the three salewas that are required for the shortage quest from therapists at the start of the wipe. I've had several people come into my chat now during my live streams and ask where I've managed to find my salewas and they're still struggling to find them. The two maps that I generally stick to when trying to find these for the start of the wipe is customs and woods. Now it's worth noting, obviously everyone is in the same boat at the moment, they're all trying to do this same quest, so you might find that the areas are quite heavily populated with other players, or they might have already been looted and there may be no items left. But first things first, we'll start with customs. Taking a quick look at the map that's on screen at the moment, I've marked the two areas I tend to loot. This is known as Crackhouse and Stronghold. For the sake of this video, we'll start with Crackhouse. Once you arrive at Crackhouse, the first place you want to go to is over on the left hand side through the front door. You'll have a body which has been covered on the floor and a trolley next to it. Loose loot can spawn on the floor around those and on those two things, as well as the med case on the left. On the way upstairs, I normally check the dead scav that's on the floor behind the cabinet. You have to crouch to loot this guy. He can sometimes have salewas on him or other quest items. Once you're up the stairs, you want to head into the room on your right and check all of the shelves and tables for any loose loot spawns as this is where the salewas will spawn. You can also find your morphines here which you'll need at a later date. Once you've checked this room, you then want to head out at the end towards the metal door and open the first shut wooden door. Once inside, you want to check the wooden boxes and all of the shelves in this room as this is where the salewas will spawn as shown in the video. Once we're done in this room, we're then going to head over to Stronghold. A little bonus tip that some people may not know is that if you go into the first set of doors as you come up the stairs, if you check on the shelves on the floor, you can sometimes find folders of intelligence or other food items. Stronghold is only a short distance away from the crack house, so it's worth looting both if you feel confident we're doing so or if you didn't find any salewas in the previous building. Heading into the stronghold from the side facing crack house, you'll find a bedroom on the left which has got a bunk bed at the back which has a loose loot medical spawn and a med box on and also a medical ration box. You'll see here we get our second salewa in one raid. Once you're done in this room, you want to come out and then head left and run past the blue barrels. It's worth checking on top of these barrels because I have found salewas here in the past. Take a right and head into the room with more bunk beds. Once in here, you want to check on top of all of the beds as these contain loose loot spawns as well as the sports bag on the back. We then want to head on over up the staircase and towards the back of the stronghold. Once you're at the back, there is the possibility for salewas to spawn on the floor as well as in the med case. If there's nothing in there, you want to head round and then past the other staircase to the medical box next to the large machine gun. There are other areas that you can loot on the way to or away from these places. For example, if you spawn over near Big Red, there's a blue hut in the corner which has a med bag. I've found a salewa in there before. You also have the med bag next to the giving tree if you spawn the other side of the train tracks close to Stronghold. You also have the back of the van outside of Old Gas. Close to this, you also have the area underground in the power room where you have loot that can spawn on the chair and also on the med box there. Further down the end of this, there is also a couple of bags and some boxes which may potentially spawn them there as well. There's also a med bag in the room to the far right as you head into the green screen room. Finally, you also have the med bag in the white cabin on the hill with the pylon. There is another med bag inside of the gas station, but this is locked behind a key door and you may not have this this early into white. The next map that we'll be taking a look at, which I use to try and find my salewas, is woods. The two main points of interest that I normally focus on on this map are the USEC camp up on the left hand side of the map, or you also have the FOB or forward operating base on the right hand side close to the water. Firstly, we'll take a look at the USEC camp. This area comes in two parts, so we'll be looting it from the side which is closest to the road, moving backwards. Making your way through the first part of the camp, you want to keep an eye on top of all of the boxes and barrels for any loose medical spawns. In this area, there is only one medical ration box, which is in the tent at the back. Once you're done in here, you want to come out of the tent and take a left and follow with the rocks on the left-hand side. And then you'll move over to the second part of the USEC camp. Same again with this part of the map, you just want to keep an eye on top of all of the boxes, barrels and tables for any loose loot spawns while you're making your way over to the end of the camp where the main point of interest is, which is the med bed. As you can see from the clip of the video, there is a loot spawn on top of the med bed as that's where the AFAC is. You also want to keep an eye on all of the flooring around the table and at the back near the bottles of beer as you can often find items spawning here. 
as well as on the grey trolley similar to the one in Krakow's on Customs. Due to the size of the woods map, I generally tend to head over towards my extract from here and go for the reset, mainly because if I want to head over to the FOB, it's more than likely already been hit by the time I've got here, especially if you spawned over the other side near where we have. Based on our spawn, we'll be heading into the FOB from the north, so you want to head underneath the containers and keep an eye on the left shelves, as this is where there is loose medical loot. Then want to keep going left and hit the first med box. Move a little bit further forward and loot the med bag underneath the white table. You'll then spin yourself around and head into the first blue container, loot the med bag in there on the blue bed. Check all the shelves and the tables in here as well for more loose spawns. Turn yourself around and then go into the next container again, checking all of the shelves just in case. There's a bag at the end here which can also spawn to labor, so it's worth checking that. Push it forward, you want to keep an eye on the loose loot on the left on the boxes, similar to like we did in customs. You then want to check the red container for any spawns on the bed and the metal cart. Coming out of here, you then want to move over to the white container with the covered up bodies and check the table right at the far back. Leaving this area, you want to go left and check the ambulances just in case there's anything in those. Following it around left again, all the way into the large tent, you want to keep an eye on the trolleys, tables, and then loot the med bag at the back. A worthwhile mention is this duffel bag in the green tent near the front entrance. And eventually ending up looting the last medical supply crate next to the truck. Just like customs, there are some other worthwhile places to check depending on your spawn. So you might loot these on the way to your extract or away from your spawn. Most of these are over the outskirts side of the map. So I'll check in the back of the black SUV. It's also worth checking on the passenger seat just in case there's a violet key card there. There's a dead scav propped up against a tree which you want to loot because anything can spawn on him. We then want to loot the wooden shed slash hut thing as there's loose loot spawns here as well. You also have the dead scav and the duffel bag down by the coast on the left after this. Then from here you want to head on over to outskirts to extract from the map. There we have it. That is the end of the guide. Hopefully you've been able to find your Salewas the same way that I do at the start of the wipe. If you have any questions about anything inside of this guide, then feel free to comment down below. Likewise, if there's any other guides that you'd like me to make to help you progress through your career in Tarkov, then let me know in the comments down below as well. If this has helped you out, please drop me a like, and I'll see you in the next one.